All right, today we are talking about book number nine in the Jack Reacher series and the source material behind the Tom Cruise film, Jack Reacher. And that film probably brought a lot of people into this series of books. Personally, I read a Reacher book before I ever watched either of the Reacher films, but it was after the films were already out. My uncle had suggested that I read the books, and I I was honestly, I was hesitant because I knew of the films. I had seen the trailers for the films, and I was like, oh, the the, the Tom Cruise movies? And don't get me wrong, I love Tom Cruise, it's just that the movie didn't look that appealing. Um, And they were like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. That is not at all Jack Reacher. It's it's an imitation of Jack Reacher. Um, and, And then my uncle proceeded to tell me a bit about the character, and I was pretty much sold from there. You know, I I read Worth Dying For as my first book, and from then on, I was hooked. I I went back and read every book that my library had available, regardless of what order. I just wanted all the Jack Reacher stories I could get as soon as possible. Anyway, I know that was a bit of a rant, uh, but today we are talking about the book that was the source, you know, the material that the the first film was based on, and that is One Shot. And I gotta say, in retrospect, the film's actually not that bad. Tom Cruise is definitely not my Jack Reacher, but the adaptation to to, to film was actually pretty great. They, They pretty much told the same story with a few things that they changed when it comes to, you know, how they ended it. And it's probably a good thing, because then people who have read the books can enjoy the film and not know how everything's going to play out. But as pretty damn good as the film was, the book, like is often true, is even better. In fact, I would probably put one shot in my top 10. Now, now I talk about my top 10 Reacher books a lot, and I rarely ever actually place any of the books in my top 10 or reveal which books are in my top 10. We'll get there, I promise. Uh, but I think I can safely say that One Shot fits in there somewhere. Probably not top 5, but definitely inside the top 10. It's a great story, uh, a lot of great melee action with Reacher kicking ass, hand-to-hand combat, um, some really great detective stuff. Because if you're like me, you know, I like my Reacher like I like my Batman. As a detective, you know, someone who solves mysteries and figures things out, you know, an investigator who gets to the bottom of crimes, and one shot is chock full of Jack Reacher detective work. So, the story goes that a sniper takes out five people, seemingly at random, and all clues point to a man named James Barr. I mean, it's open and shut. This guy is so clearly the guy, it couldn't get any easier for the cops. That is until James Barr asks for Jack Reacher. But when Jack Reacher shows up, he's, he's confused. Why would a guy he tried to put away a a decade earlier for basically the same crime call for him as a character witness? Or was he calling for him as a character witness? It makes no sense at all, whatsoever. But eventually, Jack gets involved with the case, arguing for the defense of James Barr, even though when he showed up, he was absolutely doing so to make sure James Barr went down. Anyway, a lot of great stuff here. Uh, They bring back some stuff from Jack's past. You know, they mention his sniper skills, and we get to actually see them in action in this story. They bring back a character from his military days. No, this time it is not Francis Nagley, but it's definitely an enjoyable part of the story. Uh, Other characters in the story include James Barr's sister, who, you know, absolutely wants to believe that he is innocent of these crimes, and also the defense attorney representing James Barr, who works very close with Reacher, trying to figure this thing out and prepare a case against the prosecuting attorney, who just so happens to be her father. So, yeah, this this story's got it all. Family drama, uh, the past coming back to haunt people, snipers, bar fights, sex, all the staples of a badass Reacher story. 
So I highly recommend this one. As I said, probably makes my top 10, uh, probably closer to the 8, 9, 10 part of my top 10, uh, but still a very great read. I mean, even at number 10, it's better than 16 other Jack Reacher books. So being a massive fan of the character and, and loving almost every story, I think that's saying something. So if you haven't read One Shot, I highly recommend it. I'm not going to give away the ending, uh, but I will tell you that it is different from the movie ending if you have seen that. And if you haven't seen the film or read the book, then hey, read the book first and then go check out the film. Because as I said at the beginning, it's it's really pretty damn good. And if you can overlook the size of Tom Cruise, it's a pretty damn good action flick with a great mystery. All right. If you enjoyed this review, please click the like button, share it with your Reacher friends, friends who love Jack Reacher stories, and subscribe to the channel. If you decide to subscribe, be sure and hit the notification bell as well, and that will let you know when I upload new videos. And I'm uploading Jack Reacher content fairly often. It's not all I do here, but I definitely do it a lot. I also talk about all things entertainment and pop culture. I'm a big geeky nerd, and I love film, television, books, comics, basically anything you can geek out about that falls under entertainment or pop culture. I love it. So if you're into that too, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell, and if you decide to stick around and subscribe, then I will talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks.